Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Stellaris as the Smother Shell Republic, where we are about to visit complete. the alien hive. And see if we can do something there. I mean, it was a nice find early game. It, we did get a fair bit of minerals out of it before they <laughs> blew up everything we had. I'm not System sure. Survey complete. I'm not sure what triggered their return. I assume it was. I really, I really wish I knew. Either it's a timer, or it's based on how many minerals you extract in total. It wasn't the number of stations because we just gradually incremented that, and that didn't seem to have any significant effect. Yeah, so I, I assume that the trigger is basically either, either a flat timer, which is kind of boring, or a flat mineral e extraction thing, which is fair, actually. But who knows? I would, who knows how they plan these things? For all I know, they, they could be meant to just show up immediately. Um, oh yeah, the tunnel dwellers that we blew up earlier. Let's see now. Our forces on Exxon are still mapping the tunnel network below our colony. They have come upon a large city belonging to the subterranean aliens that uh, managed to isolate itself from the rest of their underground empire before we flooded it with nerve gas. There are millions of uh, frightened aliens in the city. Should we, our engineers collapse the cavern to finish the job? Uh, yeah, I don't need slaves. Yes, put them out of their misery. And now the fun begins. Hostile fleet engaged. I think I want to slow down the game speed. Because I want to see just how badly this goes. Maybe not that slow. I could always pause, I suppose. If things really start going wrong. What are they firing at us? Are these missiles or something? Speaking of, can we actually uh, investigate? No. Are we even taking damage? So far, yeah, a little bit. They go straight through the shields, as far as you can tell. Mm. Oh, okay, so they're quite solid, and that's just one group. Yeah, this might be a bit more than we can handle, actually. Debris analyzed. Definitely blasting away at something. So why are we blasting away? Oh, that's not what I was going to do. Um, oh, we're shooting at the uh, hive itself down there. Because I keep looking at the top there. Yeah, so they're kind of vulnerable to a battleship attack, I assume. Because big module. Big module. We lost one destroyer as far as I can tell. Okay, never mind. We might actually do okay here. So that's one down. Five to go. How much damage have we taken? Not much. Not much. Uh, I'll continue the battle as soon as I micromanage uh, some uh, construction ships here. Observation post, yes, do that. We must make sure that the little aliens don't become spacefaring. In fact, I might start purging the ones that are 
close to space. So that'll probably get the enigmatic observers to be a bit hostile. At any rate, back to observation here. Go, go, little hostile fleet. fleet engaged. Next space hive. If we only lose a few destroyers here, that's gonna be fine. It looks like complete. they sent out some small hive things. And they Call seem to focus on the destroyers. Yeah, so, so they're basically uh, hangars, strike craft. As far as I can tell. Construction complete. So while we blow the heck out of that asteroid, they we can we still have to deal with this tiny little strike craft thing. Destroying this eliminates the strike craft. Yeah. Ships are already using their big lasers. Hostile fleet engaged. System survey complete. <laughs> Look at that swarm. Brrr. Losing destroyers, but that's okay. One destroyer at a time, that's acceptable. They're not touching our corvettes. Which I'm fine with. No debris from these guys. System survey complete. Okay, so to attack, to attack the Hivers, you basically need capital ship weaponry and point defense weaponry for defense. That's essentially what you need to take on the Hivers, as far as I can tell here. Yum, laser beams. System How to mine by laser. Construction complete. I'm using the smaller lasers to try to target the ships, but that's not going to work well. Kind of need point defense to get the strike craft, I think. Okay, we lost five destroyers so far. I'm fine with that trade. If we're clearing out the entire system survey, all the alien hives. Hostile fleet engaged. Right, yeah, we lost four people. Yeah, Construction go. complete. So far. Still two hives to go. I don't know things are going on in the galaxy, but yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty nights. I mean, it's the first conflict we've had for quite a few episodes. So. I suppose you should enjoy the light show. I don't put, a, put on too many of them, do I? It's gonna be, be the last one with the green, the green lasers. They get something new and shiny. Okay, that one's done. Hey, terraform is done. Engaged. And last hive. Do you think the um, enigmatic observers would be mad at us for eradicating the hive? I mean, we're wiping out an alien life form. I wonder. Okay, so we lost eight destroyers so far. Might lose one more. Maybe, maybe not. 
there we go. Alien hive, asteroid hives. Asteroid hives defeated. Our forces have managed to smash the alien hive asteroids in the uh, Fulam system. They are once again dorm dormant, and we are not detecting up, detecting, detecting up any more of those vicious attack craft. One of the asteroids is still reasonably intact, despite the damage inflicted upon it. We should consider dispatching a science party to see what we can find inside it. Prepare an away team. Situation log updated. And so we will. I don't think I want to move my fleet away from that system just yet. Uh, let's see. You are all the way over here, but... Uh, yeah. Get here. Research projects. You are idling down there. Right, because I sent you around to try to learn at least something about the pirates. Uh, that basically means exploring or visiting every star system. The one thing that does is that we'll find uh, the star. Uh, we'll know if they have planets like here, which is kind of useful. And I'm kind of curious because, well, there definitely are pirates here, but we don't seem to actually be able to interact with them in any way. Yeah, we lost quite a few destroyers, but that's okay. Okay, construction ships. Yeah, you're gonna be building more things. Way more things. And then some more things. Uh, mining stations out here. There you go. Now you have something to do for a while. You finished stuff here. Good. There you go. Excellent. Mm, we're gonna trade more energy, I think, because we will have at least one terraforming project to go. There we go. Thank you. And we'll start terraforming the planet over here. So that we can replace this one eventually. Unstable tectonics, hazardous weather. We're terraforming the planet, but I think these two will remain, which is kind of odd. I mean, it wipes out all the tile blockers, which is nice, but... Uh, I would think, since I'm terraforming the planet... Okay, the tectonics might actually remain, because that's part of the planet's core, but... Weather. I would, I would assume completely changing the upper biosphere would... <laughs> be able to affect the weather as well. Ah well. Oh yeah, and we have lots of new minerals there to build. Um, you know what? Hammer out another construction ship and another colony ship because we finished terraforming some planets somewhere. Uh, not this one, was it? There we go, that one. So you can replace that with a place the outpost. That's gonna be good. Uh, I planned to sectorize you, didn't I? Well, you do have two planets, actually. I completely forgot about that rule change. So, yeah. Keeping that could actually be beneficial, but which should I give up? You know what, I'm inclined to go with this. Let's upgrade the ship shelter and keep this planet for now. Uh, and if we're gonna keep it, let's clear everything out. And get this planet up to speed. Quite a lot of food here. And this planet needs to get up to speed. This planet, same thing. A lot of things to build. Which means Delphi will be uh, sectorized. 
well, once we need to at least when we lose a Christ. Anomaly found. Yeah, null aggression pacts. Yeah, they're kind of co coagulating. Uh, that's fine. Now, let them work together. We'll destroy them all in due time. Yeah, I keep saying Construction that. Construction complete. Mm, that's your surface queue. Oh yeah, uh, you finished your new construction ship, yes? Excellent. Send it down. Here. Get those mining stations. Juicy, System juicy minerals. Complete. And now I have to start buying up secrets to learn about the Enigmatic Fortress. But we did start terraforming it, yes? Yes. We did indeed, so we can already start another colony ship, actually. Given the time it'll take to build these things. Gilded cage. That's not the one we just started there, right? No. Okay, so that's another one. Uh, da -da -da, gain experience. Gain the void craft. Yeah, that's fine. Could be worse. I'm gonna need more destroyers. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I'm gonna queue them up in another shell, probably. It's gonna be... That's one, two, three, four. How many do I build? One, three. By five, we want at least one more, I think six. I actually want seven. Yet another one. It's gonna take a while to build up this, but that's not cruisers, destroyers. Construction complete. System survey complete. System survey complete. So how many dis- uh, not destroyers, how many cruisers do I want to complete? Probably just a few. Oh! Election campaign, huh? Uh, looks like our guy will be re-elected. Uh, Seventy-five percent of our total fleet capacity. Uh, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Th these traits are much better, but slaver, no. Same thing there. I don't really want to go with the slavers. They don't really do anything for us. No, we're not gonna build that many destroyers. Yeah, we're gonna keep him. We don't have to do, don't have to do anything to keep him. Construction good. complete. Come on, little scientist, get over there. I want to find out what's the deal with the mineral complete. mineraloids. Now don't dare to move the fleet until that is sorted out. Then we'll redeploy the fleet. Construction anyway. complete. Situation log updated. Yeah, there we go. He's re-elected. He has a mining mandate, so that's going to be fulfilled pretty System darn soon. System survey complete. And that means we can probably send a frontier outpost down to... Where was it? That's a desert. It was a tropical somewhere here. There was a tropical world here. Oh... Dang it, so some primitives lived on it. 
That's boo. Okay, so we can't really sneak in there either. Research complete. Construction complete. Secrets of life. Atmospheric manipulation. Yes, yes, yes. We've been waiting for you, the best attack. So after that one, we can terraform all the other little bastard planets. We're gonna need a lot of energy credits. A lot of credits. But I also want to buy up the um, enigmatic observer thing and learn its secrets. First though, we have a continental world here to settle. Hmm, weak magnetic field, huh? Yeah, you go here, you can settle. Yeah, sure, smack in the middle there. Seems fine. Come on. Let's Come on, don't cooperate with me, little dice. There we go, Duron. Not sure why it takes multiple takes to get it to actually do anything now. System survey complete. Seems odd. Okay, well, the survey is done. Finish this project so we can vacate the fleet. I probably can do that already, but you never know. In other games, these kind of things tend to backfire, so... It's always nice to be prepared, I suppose. In case there suddenly shows up something else, like, I don't know, critter that lay the eggs or whatever. The death is gonna be handed out, so I'm not gonna do anything with improvements there. Your surface queue is still way long, so. Your system is actually shorter. Construction complete. Now the terraform is done. That's the water world. Excellent. System survey complete. Let's see, we can't enter his space, that's fine. We can enter his though. Which I find really amusing. Yeah, we're actually in his star system. So look at that, that's his main fleet. <laughs> Several thousands worth. We're even here. And we're serving it. Never mind the military station that they have. And you bounce around to a lot of systems. We haven't been to all of them though. Should be a visible marker. This system has been visited. So we have at least. So I don't have to hover over it to check that. Yes, I do indeed have medium intel here. Would have been nice to have a visual for that. Because right now you have grey versus white. Uh, I don't know, what color would that be? Yeah, color coding on the names based on their status. Even for exploration, yeah. Something like that, I don't know. Maybe a shade of blue or something, I don't know. Construction complete. Pirate lookouts. Can we study their ships? No sense of this strange vessel. So they are one of those, uh, I don't know, alien disasters or whatever you want to call it. I mean, we've seen quite a lot of pirates here. Pirate fleet there, pirate hideout. So there are definitely pirates in the area there, but we're not getting any kind of uh, contact information. 
And they are spreading down this way, yeah. Trying to at least. I suppose they can't go down and towards the complete. Fallen Empire. There we go. Ah, yeah, yeah, excellent. Lots special and lots and lots. Project complete. Of influence. And special project completed. Our science tip has finished exploring the massive network of tunnels and chambers running through the hive asteroid in the Fidlam system. No live specimens of the space-born creatures that attacked us were encountered, but the scientists did find the remains of some kind of birthing chamber. This has given us a great deal of insight into the life cycle of these entities, further expanding our understanding of galactical, galactic biology. Excellent. So, 2000 society research, mm, nice, and 500 energy credits. Not a bad little uh, discovery, that. You can now definitely go back to port, wherever that will be. Probably straight home to, yeah, the beacon. There isn't much for us to explore on this side of space, I think. Because we still can't sneak our way through here. We'll have to brute force our way through at some point. We can, of course, go here and explore his systems, which amuses me greatly. So I'll do exactly that. Um, yeah, you, we have still have quite a few stations to build. And we have the minerals for it too, so... There we go! This one's being terraformed. Good. We are colonizing that System one. survey complete. Sent a colony ship up in this area earlier. Oh yeah, we had a plant over here that we needed to terraform. Did we start that project? Don't. Yes, we did. Excellent. It's gonna take quite a while, but it is gonna finish at some point. I don't want to tear down this frontier outpost. It seems to help us bridge the gap there. Seems to be a lot of pirates in the area. So, oh, no, wrong button. Do I want to start buying the secrets for the enigmatic observers? Yeah, uh, the um, enigmatic fortress. I think I do. I'm curious now. So first, Construction complete. our merchant friends, we want energy credits, and quite a lot of them, there we go, thank you. Uh, wrong button again, there we go. Uh, da -da -da, where are you? The mysteries of the universe, tell us about the enigmatic fortress. Um, let's see, can the fortress be entered? Let's start there. And it didn't actually answer. Construction complete. Construction complete. It took my energy, but nothing seems to happen. Um, we also lost the modifier for the uh, hivers, but I suppose that we shouldn't need it once they are destroyed. You know what? Why didn't you... Yeah. Not sure what happened there. I clicked this button, but... Uh, remind us about entering it. And poof out. That seems buggy. Um, I would assume it would give us information of some sort, but... I'm, I'm doing this a logical way. I'm starting from the top and going down. But apparently that's not how you're supposed to do it. Who built the fortress? 
and poof out. It takes my credits, it doesn't give me information. Either that or it's just it automatically closes, I don't know. Ah oh well. Um I'm curious now, I'm gonna buy the last one. Seems to seems to be some kind of bug here. Always down on the list. Sorry, why can't the list just center? Okay, now, now secret of the universe, enigmatic fortress. How is the fortress powered? And again, poof, out. So now we have all the bits and pieces that he offered. Clicking these buttons will just close the darn menu instead of giving me information. So if I click here, poof. But now I have all three pieces. I have no modifier. I have no idea what they actually gave us for hints. This annoys me. Ah oh well. At any rate. I think it's time for a short break again, and we'll see what we'll do with this situation next time. Thank you for watching.